Let's say hi. Fantastic stuff. That's what we like. You're watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet. This is the big one, definitely. And it's just coming up to three minutes to nine o'clock. So just coming up to nine o'clock. And I thought, time for a bit of a Wednesday night pop-up and uh, see what is happening with you guys. Come and join us, of course. Lots to talk about, so little time to do it in. If you're a football fan, that's fine. If you're scrolling, stop right now. This is the one for you. If you've never experienced Scotty McClue, don't miss a second, because if you miss a second of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. And where does that leave you, I say? Uh, so there you are. Did you like JFK? Yes, I was a bit of a fan of JFK. I have to be honest about that. So there we are. Do join us. Sadly, a life cut off far too soon. Far too soon. Uh, what's the clue in Scotty McClure? Oh, my goodness me. The clue is in you watching me saying dinky-doo to you. Uh, hello, I was learning at school about the Picts and the Scots. The Picts and the Scots and the Scoti. Yes, the Scotty as well. That's me without the E. Dinky Doo Wilfred. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, of course, to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Wednesday evening pop up. And uh, you can uh, look at the videos. I've done lots and lots of lovely TikTok videos for you, just for your education, edification, enjoyment, and delight. And of course, the world's best kept secret the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Good evening. How is one this evening? Oh, Stephen, one is absolutely one. I think we have one, to be quite honest, to see just the wonderful reaction that we get on TikTok. Absolutely incredible. TikTok's top talk show. That's what it's all about. Good evening from the heart of Ireland. Sheehan, absolutely. The heart of Ireland beating away there. How wonderful is that? <laughs> we like that. The heart of Ireland. And Ireland has got a big heart. We know that. A big heart. Wonderful stuff. Hello, comrade. It's St. David's sends love. Ah, comrade in St. David's. How amazing is that? Now, I've got a sip of tea for you tonight. Ah, so we're at the Yorkshire Tea Big Style tonight. Wonderful stuff. What's your opinion on Nicola Sturgeon? Nicola Sturgeon is a first-class politician and an excellent first minister. So there we are. Hello from Stafford. Thank you. Good to see you again, Scotty. Johan, always good to see you. And love to Ireland, I say. I'm pretty sure Athlone is the heart of Ireland. I might be wrong. Well, you see, I think every county in Ireland would claim to be the heart of Ireland. So you might find that uh, you've got uh, Limerick and all that. Uh, fam, this is boring. So what we'll do is, hang on a minute. We've got a troll, guys. Uh, this is boring, Rondon. So let's send Rondon right down the swanee. And he could bore himself somewhere else. Fantastic. There we are. Good afternoon. Excellent. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, Scotty. Always a pleasure watching. Thank you, Joel. Very, very kind of you. Well, comrade, my dogs had puppies, and we sold one. His name was Blue. You and me and a dog named Blue. Me and you and a dog named Blue. That sounds better, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you, pleasure, as always. Wilfred, I love to have you with us. Geodog, hi, my precious friend. Geodog, imagine that we troll, saying that the people on here were boring. Oh, so there are. He's down the swanee. Geo dog, lovely to have you with us, my precious friend. I salute you, sir. I salute you like that and like that. Can anyone see my comments? I'm on my laptop. No, MH, we can't see your comments. Try again. <laughs> oh, how wonderful is that? Hello, dinky do. What did I? Dinky do to you. How lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue Live on TikTok just for you saying dinky do. Uh, he has no sense of humor. That's what's wrong with him, Geo Dog. He also might have an IQ of one. That can happen as well. Do a dab, good sir. I will indeed, Thomas. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. But is dabbing not sort of a bit old hat now? There we are. Dinky do. 
Oh, I think you do, my liege, my liege. I am your liege of life and limb. I really was wanting and waiting, yes. Love your stance on the way. Only two more left. And then done. Got one more exam out of the way. Sorry. Only two more left tomorrow and then done. Rohan, you will do so well. Love your stance on our first minister. She's a very talented politician. She is indeed. There's the wonderful Maria Knight sending me beautiful gifts. Maria, you're an absolute angel. Uh, say hocus pocus. There's a pizza on your focus. Are you focusing on a pizza? Are you having it cut into four or six? I usually just have four because I can't eat six. Oh, my goodness, my lovely friend, RKV. Welcome, welcome. Which languages can you speak, says Johan? Johan, which languages do you require? That's the way to word that one. Now then, my good sir, you're giving him credit. Not at all to your dog, no, no. No, every day should have an IQ of one. But uh, maybe it's pushing it a bit in his uh, sense, I tell you that. Dinky-doo bestie, musical world, I thank you. And lovely to have you with us. Dinky-doo, do you remember my dear lovely friend? I do indeed. You're so positive all the time. I suffer from clinical depression. Any advice, please? Richard, yes. Always remember that any kind of mental illness is not any sign of weakness. It's a sign of staying, staying strong for far too long. Yes, so, you know, the depressive workout, if you drink alcohol, chuck that. If you smoke tobacco, chuck that. You know, anything like that. Do you speak Arabic? Uh, Gadad. Um, my sincere apologies, but I don't speak Arabic, but I would love to. Professor Dumbledore, is that you? I like your trim. Hey, thank you, Sab. Do you know any Greek, Scotty? Yeah, so musical. Uh, Kalispera, Kalispera, and Kalanachta. Yes, indeed. Can you speak Scottish, for example? Oh, yes, I can speak Scottish. Which one do you want? Do you want Lalan? Do you want breed scots? Do you want to do it? Do you want the garlic? <laughs> I want to talk private for getting some advice. RKV. Uh, that's going to be a little bit tricky because the world is watching right now. Fantastic. Do join us. Imagine the word imagine. Yes, indeed. I think you're amid a splendid king. Ah, Geodog. Well, you see, the th thing is, they started educating world leaders. And once they did that, the world improved because the poor old world leaders had been very, very poorly educated. You know, you're a very cultured man. I thank you, Johan. Uh, how was the last day, sir? XXL, I haven't had the last day. How was today, do you mean? Please, my dear friend, hopefully you will. Then RKV, yes, we might manage to do something at some point. But feel free to come on because your username doesn't really particularly identify you. You know, so if you wanted to ask about something random, even asking for a friend, you know? Mm. That tea is absolutely lush. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Uh, was it today the last day or is it tomorrow? There we go. Alfie, you need to just go and grow up. There's Alfie, a wee troll. Used to wasting his time on other people's lives. Gone. Toast. Doon the swanee. Bye, Alfie. Uh, do you think the lockdown limits will end for Scotland and England on designated dates? Mm, I wouldn't like to stake anything on that lot. <coughs> hello, darling. Uh, please say hello with your soothing voice, Xenia. I can say hello with my soothing voice. I was given a lovely sporran by a friend. Is sporran the right word? Uh, two R's. S-P-O-R-R-E-N. There we are, your sporran. Fantastic. Can you show your socks? No, no, we don't do challenges like that, Lolo. That's just for lives with nothing important to say. We don't need to do challenges, reveals, any of that rubbish on here. 
We are proper stuff. This is a proper talk show for grown-up people who have got something to say. Yes, indeed. Are you a Rangers or Celtic fan? Um, I'm uh, both massive, massive fan of both Rangers and Celtic. No problem at all. I have two scarves. There we are. Uh, you keep saying Swanee. What's Swanee? Swanee is the Swanee River. Look it up. S-W-A-N-N-E-E. -E, I think the Swanee River. Way down upon the Swanee River, far, far away. The old folks at home. <clears throat> Way down upon the Swanee River. And what we do, if anybody is a troll or not mature enough to handle the live, we just toast them and send them down the Swanee. That's the end of that. Nobody ever trolls. Scotty McClure. What are your pronouns? Well, we're too modern for pronouns on here. Pronouns are very, very old-fashioned. But I suppose uh, at a push I would be he, him. But you don't need them on here because we are all inclusive. Hello, everybody. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClure, live on TikTok Live just for you, Dinky do. Hello, hello, copper man. How lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, can I tell you about the world's best kept secret? Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Right? Now, nobody knows about this apart from, well, 600,000 have seen it. and uh, But then again, over 600,000 have seen these lives in the last six weeks. So 600,000 have seen it, but only 2,500 have subscribed. So if you're up for it, you'll see the URL to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. It just says YouTube channel, forward slash user, forward slash Scotty McClue one, youtube.com. You'll see it in front of you, youtube.com, forward slash user, forward slash Scotty McClue one. Do you see it right in front of you at my bio? Do you need to tap my portrait in the top left? That should reveal all the TikTok videos. There's one of the TikTok videos about three along, and I think it should definitely go viral if it hasn't already. The last time I looked, uh, we put it up just was it last night or the night before. 5,000 people have looked at it already on TikTok. Now, that's not bad, is it? So get yourselves onto the YouTube channel, subscribe and tap the bell. Come back and tell me when you've done it. There's 1,500 videos for your education, information, ed edification, enjoyment, and delight. So get on there. Now, uh, what are your pronouns? We don't, well, we've dealt with pronouns. We don't do them uh, because we are far too modern. Are you politically active or involved? No. I am absolutely 100% apolitical. However, I'm very politically informed. So that's the difference. I love to see you, Scotty. Dinky you do. Good evening and hello there from Ryan. How art thou, so Scotty McClure? Eddie boy in Newmarket. Dinky do. I say to you, does the sporran and the moon bag serve the same purpose? Uh, well, I'm not sure which way the moon bag goes to your dog. Is that the same as the bum belt? <laughs> You'd make a great leader. I thank you, your hand. I just got my results back now. I passed my subject. Joel, we are delighted. Now, I won't clap too loudly in case somebody's got their earbuds in. Woo! Woo! Joel has got his exam results through, guys. 26 viewers, you're doing well. Terry, what you don't understand is that uh, that's 26 coming. Another 26 will be along in a few seconds. People scroll all the time. And, uh, for instance, if I pop up the other day, I did about 30,000 viewers. Yeah, 30,000 viewers. 600,000 have viewed. Only 15,000 have followed, but that will go up. And only 31,000 have liked. But we have only been doing this for six weeks. So I think we're doing well. Yeah, I agree with you. We are doing well. There we are. Scotty, how's your day so far? Think it is Scotty, do you miss Scott FM? Yes, everyone misses Scott FM. If Scott FM was now going, it would be the radio station in town. Absolutely. And um, 29 years on Monday, Scotty McClure's first show on Red Rose Radio. 
29 years on Monday. All right, guys. What is a hashtag floatai? Hashtag floatai is hashtag first lord of the internet. That's my title. The same as hashtag put us, president of the United States. So you've got hashtag floatai and hashtag put us. Is that all right for you? Is that good for you? There we are, Chris. Don't be silly. I wonder if all restrictions will get lifted this time on the 19th of July. Eddie boy, I think we'll just have to see. I would never, ever, ever hazard a guess at that. Guys, can everybody share this broadcast, please? <coughs> Queen Casey's just joined us. Dinky do, Queen Casey. A lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome. Follow us as soon as come on. Scott FM, sadly missed by the viewers. Yes, indeed, you and that scallywag Galloway. He was wonderful, wasn't he? Absolutely. In the morning, we used to do a handover, and the audience went through the roof. <laughs> I bought a book and all the tartan weaves and the clan affiliation. Very educative. Geo dog, this will be right up your street. Good morning, the Duke of Dundee. Good morning, dinky do, fantastic. Guys, you know you can also follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Reddit, Scotty underscore McClue. Get on there, give us some karma. You can follow us on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. You can follow us on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, although I haven't used that much. But the Scotty McClue YouTube channel is massive. Get on there. It's also the world's best kept secret. <laughs> you are a good man, dear friend. RKV, anything for you, I say. Dinky do to you, Matt. Dinky do, Matamunda. One tough. Lovely, 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 Matamunda. What a great name. We love that. Fantastic. I love it. There's literally hundreds. There will be Geodog. And of course, remember that after the risings of the 15 and the 45, uh, England came down and Scotland very harsh and um, banned a lot of things. So a lot of the clan people changed their name to like colors, you know, black, white, brown. What's your name, Mr. Black? What's your name, Mr. White? Mr. Brown, yes, it, rather than actually say that their name was whatever. Do you see what I mean? Bye, see you around, Scotty. Johan, lovely to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. And dinky do, I say to you, everybody can come and go. Scotty, have you ever traveled abroad? I, I'm not well travel abroad, Eddie. I've been to France, to Germany, to Austria, to Portugal, to... um. Belgium, to uh, where else have I been? I've been to Greece, to Crete, fantastic, to Holland, I've been to Holland, lovely, lovely. Are you going to sing the One Britain, One Nation song on Friday? Uh, well, there's not really One Britain, One Nation, you see. There's One Britain, Four Nations. Britain's just a landmass. So I don't know that I'll be singing that. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Have you ever been to South Africa? No, I would love to go to South Africa. Geodog has been educating me on the use of the braai, because I would love to throw some food on the braai, maybe have a steak on the braai. Do you watch the European football competition? Only a couple of Scottish games. I'm not really too bothered about the rest. Very, very interesting. So that's where Mr. Brown comes from. Yes, indeed. So Mr. Brown... Mr. White, Mr. Black, they would all be coming. They would be subsidiaries of the Clan Lamont. You yes, see, eh? quite interesting there. Uh, do you want Scottish independence? I would like Scotland to have full control of its own money, its own economic destiny. There we are. That's the thing. Uh, because at the moment, Scotland is subsidizing Westminster to the tune of £75 billion pounds a year. That's why Westminster does not want Scotland to leave. They're hanging on to it with a vice-like grip. Yes, indeed, because Scotland is the provider, you know, and you don't bite the hand that feeds you. I was at Crete as well. Agothni Colas, a lovely island fella. Yes, I was near Heraklion. <coughs> what time is it in your country? In my country, is uh, 
17 minutes past 9 o'clock, daylight saving time. There we are. So that's GMT plus one. The wonderful Maria Knight is sending me a gorgeous gift there. Hello, Scotty. It's me again, your friend, Random. I missed you, Random. We missed you. So there we are. It's a knowledgeable Scotty and accurate Nick. I have to try my best. Maria has sent me a beautiful gift box. Maria, thank you. Mwah. Scotty, you're a fool if you think Scotland should be independent. Charlotte, no, 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 no. Remember, Scotty McClue is no fool. This is 50 years of proper research, whereas you'll just be relying on search engines and the first thing that pops up. Yeah? And you'll not be too bothered who your sources are. So, no, definitely no fool at all. We were very, very foolish to allow England to sign us up 313 years ago. Because for thousands of years, Scotland was successfully independent. Yes, indeed. Scotty, have you ever taught broadcasting to others? I have, Scottish music lover. I have been a visiting university lecturer. I have a, and also taught at university in England. I have a, done a tertiary education, higher education. Yes, and um, all education. I've actually covered the lot, primary, secondary, tertiary, and higher. Yes, but, um, you know, it's I, I might do a lecture tour at some point just to explain to people because, dare I say it, although there have been other talk show hosts, nobody has practiced the genre to the level Scotty McClue has practiced the genre. That doesn't make me the smarty pants. It just means that I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because when you're broadcasting for three hours on a national radio station, yes, with your pants on fire, <laughs> you know, unscripted, totally unscripted, maybe you say you must do a terrific amount of preparation. I would say none at all. What? I would say, well, you don't know what's coming on. This man is a legend. I love you. Uh, Wolf Blaze, bless you. Absolutely. You imagine you're at your brightest at 10 o'clock at night. You do three hours of top, top, top radio, attracting quarter of a million people per half hour who have chosen to join you. They don't have to. There are a million other media stations out there, but they've chosen to join you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you want to inform, educate, and entertain to the very best of your ability. So there's a lot of argy-bargy, a phone-in program. The calls come at you thick and fast. Some of them are very thick. Some of them are very fast. Some of them are very interesting. Some of them are very clever. And, uh, and we deal with the lot, you see what I mean? And that's your big radio phone-in. Sadly, the stations are very, very risk-averse. And they don't want to do live shows. So they'll just churn out something that you could get on your own provider on your phone. You know, and that's not good. Not good for the future. Big shout out from we fishy George and Sokots. Lovely to have you with us, Weege. There's a wonderful Disco Pete giving me TikToks, Disco Pete. You are so very, very generous. I thank you. Have you played Minecraft? No, I have not. I have heard of it, though. Sir, you have an example of your clan's tartan weave. Geodog, yes. It's a very, very beautiful tartan. It's a dark green purple with a white check stripe. You know? So, dark green and purple. We'd love to visit Normandy, Omaha, Omaha Beach, sorry, of the D-Day landings. Well, what did you have yet? Omaha gold, sword, uh, what else did we have? Stacks and stacks of beaches, didn't we? Fantastic. Sending fireballs. Thank you, Phil. Scotty, do you listen to Space Host? Uh, no, that means nothing to me. So there we are. Should it do? Uh, sending fireballs. I thank you guys for your beautiful gifts. You don't know how much it's appreciated. It really is so very, very kind of you. These lives are just a privilege to do, and it's so lovely 
to be with such interesting and highly intelligent people. I know the wee trolls are the antithesis, but they are very, very short-lived. They don't know why they've come on here. They've just seen a face and said something silly like, to reveal, you know, and because that's all they know. Sounds beautiful. What weave is your hat? Ah, oh, now my hat, that's not a tartan. That's purely just a country check. And that will all have been um, probably natural dyes like crottle off the rocks, lichen or lichen. You are brilliant on live radio. I loved how you used to come up with the controversial subjects. Well, Stephen, we couldn't do the same again. It's not a problem. The only trouble is the woke brigade have kind of clobbered discussion. You see what I mean? So it's very, 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 very stifling. We need that all removed so you can talk about anything in the right way. You know, that sort of thing. So we need proper freedom of speech where nobody comes. He said this. He said that. You say, so what? What's your problem? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Uh, there we are. Remember, it's to be woke, as they call it. It's a huge insecurity because you don't believe that your philosophy can stand scrutiny. Do you see what I mean? It's like somebody says, why are you arguing, aren't you arguing about religion? Religion causes so much problem. Religion has never, ever, ever, ever caused a problem in the world ever. What causes a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding of religion. And if you are a supporter of a faith, then your faith should be able to stand up to question and stand up to scrutiny. Yeah, that's a proper faith. Um, I'm a miller. Our tartan is green and royal blue. How beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Although they used to say that uh, blue and green should never be seen. But I think it's very nice. Uh, I think we should give all the trolls a rubber duck and send them down the Swanee. Imagine not knowing about the Swanee geodog. These people not knowing about the Swanee River. Happy um, Pride Month, Scotty. Lewis, thank you very, very much. And to you. We need to include S in the LGBTQ. LGBTQS for straight, right? We need to support the straights as well. Uh, hi from Bomor in Ayla. Kamra ha u ali hachima maha. Welcome, welcome, Falchi, Falchi. Ki de Billy Falchi. Don Tik Tok. Agus Scotiach McClough. Indeed. From, uh, yes, traveling from Kennecraig to Portaskig and driving around to Port Ellen and Bomor. <laughs> Aye, we need the old Scotty back, the way you told people the way things were. Susie Baby, absolutely, the old Scotty has not changed one bit, but the risk-averse people won't take it because they think, well, I, 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 um, I, I would rather not have anything too controversial. Yes, we need to be awfully, awfully careful. What a lot of a shecht. There we are. Hershata or Jamaica. My wife went to Jamaica, to the West Indies. Jamaica. No, she went of her own accord. <laughs> there we are. The LGBT plus community exists as a, yes, the plus community, plus the streets as well. That's good. That's good. Differences, says Lewis. Oh, lots of differences. Uh, Saraba Gubra, Scotty. We're on the same page there. Absolutely. Have I said that right? Uh, Sersha Alba. Sersha. How do you pronounce that? Sir Alba Gubra. I would imagine that is Scotland forever. Is that right? The Swanee has a few rapids. It will make them rethink the error of their daft thinking. Geodog, I love the way you think. You're such a logical thinker, but you're logical plus. You're also a searcher and a seeker. That's wonderful. Jesus loves you. Have a nice night. Jesus adores me, and I love him. Yes, indeed. My boy Josh is running about shouting, Doon the Swanee! Doon the Swanee, Susie babe. Good one, Josh. What are your pronouns, bestie? Well, we don't do pronouns, Frankie, as they're very, very old-fashioned. But um, what, uh, what we do on here is we're all-inclusive. 
so nobody has to justify themselves. Are you with me? Isn't that beautiful? Hello from Toronto and Ontario, Canada. Tech Wizard, did you look up my old boss? My old boss was Lord Roy Thompson, the newspaper magnate. He was a Canadian and he owned Scottish television. And uh, he owned the London Times, or the Times as it's known as now. And he had radio interests as well. I wish I'd been around in George's day because we would have got a job in the radio in Canada. Fantastic. Toronto. So check him out. Is he one of your guys? It means free Scotland forever. See or sha is how it's pronounced. Searsh. Searsha. Searsha. Yes. See or sha. Or see or not see or sha. Searsha. Yes. Searsha al Bagavra. Oh, I know him. You know him, Tech Wizard? How amazing. Is he very, very big in Toronto? Tremendous stuff. Roy Thompson. It does my heart good listening to your voice. Leslie, how lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Welcome, welcome. I say, it does my heart good to see the beautiful people on TikTok Live. Gosh, you guys are interesting. I never knew a half of this. I just did this on spec, cold, not knowing if anybody would join us. 600,000 people have joined us in six weeks. Woo! Uh, <coughs> Sonny Milo di Contramusio. Now, what is that one? So there, oh, Solomio. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, we love the music. Is that right? <coughs> or have you said you're not funny <laughs> in Italian? Translate for me. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Dinky do. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. If you're scrolling, stop now because this is your life. This is where you should be. This is where you belong. If you're a TikToker, you should be following Scotty McClue. All right, fair enough. I love music. Yes, wonderful. Salemio de Contramusio. I do love music. Of course I do. It's Spanish. Ah, si, si. Me amo Scotty McClue. <laughs> Fantastic. Mi clamo. Mi clamo. Is that right? Have I said that right? Hola. Hola. Say, lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. Uh, follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Very, very important that we build up the followers. And I've got my tiny mug, the same size as my head. What about that? Isn't that beautiful? Oh. That is so lush. And came up tops, absolutely, Geo Dog. You do come up tops. Now, who have we got here? So, what did you do the day, Scotty? Susie, baby. I had such a busy day, but met so many interesting, clever people and received a lot of good news about other people's careers. And I did like that. Uh, Maria has very kindly, beautifully, and generously sent me five lollipops. Maria, you are a darling. I love you. Thank you. A triangle is more points than Scotland. No, a triangle is three points. Yes, yeah, Scotland is huge. Look at Scotland, the map of Scotland, as an old lady wearing a pointy hat with a pack on her back. That was the way my father taught me, and he was such a wise man, but very quiet, very non-pushy, but an absolute top man. I'll so show you my father. There's my father, folks. That's Big Archie for Father's Day. Isn't they amazing? Lovely, lovely guy. And that was him. He was a bit of a film star, really. Wonderful, wonderful. I already love you, and I'm not homo, says Doggy. <laughs> no problem, Doggy. <coughs> there we are. What's your favorite Irish snack? Neither am I, Doggy. So uh, you can have love. You don't have to have all that stuff. A toothpick has more points than Scotland. Rachel, what nonsense are you actually talking, and what point are you failing to make? 
Do tell us. Prediction for Wimbledon, Murray or Federer? Now, I'm going to do this, but it is painful. Don't try this at home. <clears throat> Good afternoon and welcome to the centre court. And Murray to serve. Ooh. Ooh. Love 15. I'm not doing that anymore. I used to do it for a sound effect. <laughs> yes, no, I mustn't predict Wimbledon, otherwise nobody will watch. Do you see what I mean? Hi, Scotty. Remember me? Derek Dickie Dickie. Good evening, Scotty. John has finally left me with my phone. I'm still on antibiotics, though. Lerwick, gal, this is just joy. Oh, my dear, we were so worried about you. We sent you strength and prayers from around the world. And I'm so glad to hear from you. This is wonderful. And Mr. Lerwick, Lord Lerwick, has been keeping us in touch big style. But, oh, that's so lovely to hear from you. You get strong and well, Angel. Wonderful lady. You are part of the family now. <laughs> uh, there we are, Drip, and we, Ella, can stay with me. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's so good. So good for we, Ella. But I've no doubt she was beautifully looked after. But she's so wee and so new to the world that she needs mama. I wonder if it's that. Is the lock, the lock Miss Monster? Tech Wizard, what are you at? That is not the writings of a Tech Wizard. The Lock Miss Monster. A lock, L-O-C-H, not easy to pronounce. Uh, and Ness, capital N, E-double S, the Ness. Yes, and did the river Ness feeds Loch Ness. And uh, the monster lies at the bottom of the deep. I have no reason to think she is anything but real. The only trouble is, as far as we know, virtually nobody's ever seen her. But um, that could be shyness. I'm not doing any more tennis there. Archie looks a handsome chap. He's a lovely man, Rachel. Hello, Scotty. Uh, MacDonald here. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Mackie. You definitely get your good looks from your father. Oh, no, Susie, babe. My mother used to say, you'll never be a man like your father. <laughs> she was funny. Fortunately, I didn't listen to her. I, I told you, did I, my great-grandmom took in a badly wounded Scottish soldier and they remained friends. Geo dog, whereabouts was that then? Amazing stuff. Dinky do, Scotty McClure, Taylor, how have you managed to misspell Scotty? It's not as if it's not around on the internet. And I am hashtag floatai, first lord of the internet, all uppercase. <laughs> the point I was trying to make is the Scotch only got one point at the Euros. Oh, that's what you were on about, Rachel. I thought you were on about the Eurovision Song Contest. No, 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 you were too subtle, my dear. Too remote. Yes, it did, but they came second in two games. I just want to say thank you for all the well wishes. Larry Gal, you have no need to thank us. It is us who wish to thank you for getting strong and well and for fighting on. Keep battling on, my dear. And we are sending you strength. All in uppercase. Strength. <laughs> Slanger from the Clan McLaren. We love the clan McLaurins. Thank you, do. I used to work with some very senior McLaurins. Yes, indeed, in public relations. Uh, now, guacamolin, you need to go and grow up, right? You're used to coming on to probably some very substandard stuff and saying exactly the same thing. This is TikTok's top talk show. We don't have nonsense like that, and nobody ever, ever trolls Scotty McClue. Now, I'm not going to give you a lifetime ban because your offence is not too offensive. So you can stay with us, but I want you to stay with us and learn. Stop trolling. Come and join a real talk live and be part of it. Join in, all right? So there you are. So guacamole... It's staying with us, guys. He's just put up some standard junk that you would put on any any troll would put up. 
but I'm going to give them the chance to stay with us because we need to encourage the trolls to realize there's something better for them out here. Ciao from Italy. Ciao, Roddy. And I found the other day, Roddy, he he, I pinch your cheek and slap your face. Hey, ciao, ciao. Ciao, baby. Um, I found the other day that ciao is a greeting as well. Hello. It doesn't just mean goodbye, so you don't say, okay, i see you tomorrow. Ciao. <laughs> you know? My sister's also recovering from this dreaded C-19. Thanks for your prayers, Geo Dog. We send you, you are more than welcome to everyone's prayers and thoughts because strong and collective, the world, we can do this. We can fight this. Remember, we started this live because the news was so bleak and I thought the people deserved best. Loved your sound effects for Wimbledon. Not all, Jonathan, a privilege and a pleasure, but they are quite sore if you get them wrong, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've just missed our live chats. You're part of our family, Larry Gull. What a privilege and a pleasure. I thank you. And uh, I managed to get a discussion. I managed to, to draw out of Lord Lerwick a little bit about engines. <laughs> oh, dinky do, what to do, Scotty McClure, Bob McElroy. Lovely to have you with us from New York City. Share the live videos. Thank you, Joax for sharing. Very much appreciated. Uh, mince and tatties for me, the night, Scotty. Oh, Eddie boy, you can't beat it. Do you like a wee bit tomato or brown sauce with your mince and tatties? Do you like a wee bit broccoli, some small baby carrots, some baby sweet corn, uh, broad beans, turnip, you know, neeps, neeps. The cranky should be the next Scottish entry for Eurovision. Which they'd probably win it. We did have the wonderful Kenneth McKellar one time, but I don't think we won. Uh, there we are. My wife and I as Americans are now Lord William and Lady Catherine of Aberdeen. JK, I salute you. If you're from Aberdeen, you'll hate to start speaking Doric. <laughs> Ken, uh, how are you today, Scotty? Dinky do, Smitch. Lovely to have you with us. How's the Scottish weather today? Well, we had a wee shower of rain. Partly we're going to get a bit of thunderstorm and stuff just to, to regulate the temperature, you know, because it has been quite what we call close. You see, the Scots are dreadful for understating the weather. So if the rain is coming down in stair rods and you couldn't get any wetter, the Scot will say to you, I... Showery the day, okay, then if the wind is so strong that you can either lean into it and not fall over, or it's blowing you along the streets, it's gale force, force eight of the Beaufort scale, force nine, force ten. Then people say, my, but it's fresh the day. Okay, then <clears throat> what's the other one? Oh, yes. If the heat becomes tropical, yeah, in places like Argyle and Perthshire and uh, Greenock, that sort of thing, and it the heat becomes a sort of wet, oppressive heat, kind of almost jungle stuff, people go, I it's close to the day, mind. Close. Close to the day. Sorry for spraying that. <laughs> Who's going to win the Euros, Ryan? That's for me to know and for you to find out. I cannot give you the results of the Euros right now or people would not watch the game. How unpopular would make that Scotty McClure with the television companies and the football clubs? They will say, anybody watching the game? Nobody know. Scotty gave away the results. And we don't want that again, do we? <clears throat> now, how are you today, Scottish Wolf? I am amazing and your good self. Hello, says Joanne. The soldier was wounded during fighting in the hills around Pretoria. Was this at the time of the Boer War, Geodog? The Boers. My grandfather told me he was around in the time of the Boer War. 
And he told me that um, that was when they got rid of the scarlet tunic <clears throat> because the tribespeople were just able and the, and the farmers were able to, to pick them off. They could see the, the Brits, so they got something that blended in with the kind of desert tundra, you know, that sort of idea, and uh, a bit more sandy colored, and that was khaki. Khaki. There we are. Cheers, mate. <coughs> There's one or two people talk a bit of khaki on here. Oh, John and Engines, once he gets started, he's a bore. I see what you did there, Larry, girl. Started as in start engines, bore, as in the bore of the engine. How clever are you, Larry Gull? I see you talking in code there. The Boers found him and asked great-grandma to take her in. Yes, I would imagine the Boers would think we don't really have any quarrel with the Scots. I've got a picture of veterans of the Boer War in the 1950s marching uh, up University Avenue past Wellington Church in Glasgow. Wellington Church has sort of got a, a kind of classical Greek front on it. A amazing neoclassical. Fantastic. Almost, um, yes, what could you call it? Could you call it Palladian? No, I think, I think neoclassical. I think uh, Greek would be the one for Wellington Church. Look it up. Cool, Scotty. Weech, absolutely. What year were you last on TV, Scotty? On the television. Um, as a serious newscaster, probably 1989. Um, as Scotty McClue, light-hearted entertainment, then I would think we're looking at maybe... 2000, something like that, doing serious television. Well, fun, sorry, funny television. Yeah, probably about 2000, I appeared in Granada. I've learned a bit of Doric as well as some Gaelic, Ken. Well, I'll tell you, J.K. Nutt, there are a good kind of folk in here and echt, eh? Uh, so there we are, fantastic. There's no such thing as bad weather, just the wrong clothes. Good stuff. In fact, we, I think that's Billy Connolly, isn't it? It's no such thing as bad weather, just the wrong clothes. Cool mug. Did you like that one, Leslie? Guys, follow us as soon as you come on. Uh, they wore their kilts throughout the war. I remember listening to you in the 90s. You never took crap from anyone. Respect. Jonathan, absolutely. And nothing has changed. I can't tell you. Dinky do, Scotty. Were you a WW2 baby? No, 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 no. I was much, much later than that. <laughs> WW2 was well over by the time I appeared on the scene. The Scots and the Boers never really had a beef with one another. Well, they never would. You see, the Scots can go places where, sadly, the sort of uh, southern English person is, is, is not liked, you know, is not popular. Because the Scots have never really bought into a class system. So there you are. You know, if, if the Scots see the Duke, they'll either nod to him and go, Morning, nice to see you. Or some of them might go, Hi, oh, morning, your grace. How are you the day? <coughs> you know, they don't do I mean, I'll give you a lovely example, Geodog. Now, you will just adore this story. This is a, a true story. <laughs> Came from a very, very good source. Old King George V, Queen Elizabeth's grandfather, enjoyed his shooting, and he used to shoot at Sandringham. He'd learned from his father, Edward VII, who was also a, a great farmer, a very, very good farmer, and uh, land husband. And um, <clears throat> George V was shooting at Mamal, and they were deer stalking. Now, the gilly who is the kind of expert stalker, the stalker, the head stalker. You know, um, they don't do any kind of subservient language. So he called the king in his broad Aberdeenshire accent, not the king's, the head stalker, he called him majesty. 
So when George V was there, I'd like to do a bit of stalking tomorrow. <coughs> uh, yeah? I'd say, right, well, we'll see you on the hill in the morning, Majesty. So anyway, he arrived, King George V, and the head stalker headed off up the glen looking for the stag. And they ended up doing the last bit, crawling on their bellies. And they saw this big boy, beautiful stag. And the stalker says to him, Right, Majesty, I'll roar, he'll put his head up, and you took a shot. Right, right, yes, of course. So, you know, he's down, he's, he's watching, the old king's got the old the old rifle out, right? Oh. Be, be an old 303, I would think. A Lee Enfield or something like that. Anyway, he's ready, ready, got, got him there, the rest of it. Headstalker gives it, oh! Stag puts the big heat up with the antlers, you know. Right? King fires, completely misses, and Stag trots off, thinking, what? No staying around for another of these. King George says, and pardon my language, damn and blast this bloody rifle. And Head Stalker says, there's no point in damning the rifle, Majesty. It was a very bad shot. And of course, he would keep his job because the king knew he was right. <laughs> you know, I've got stacks of beautiful stories like that. Uh, you know, and the king knew he was right, you see. And they would just walk back in the rain probably quite quietly. They would have had a, a sip out the old... Uh, hip flask, and that would have been that, you see. Uh, so there we go, but wonderful stuff. So the Scots tend to not buy into the class system. They tend to treat one human being very much like another, but very respectful nevertheless. So there we go. Maria has sent me a beautiful necklace. Maria, you're so lovely. Bailey has followed. Guys, thank you for following. Did you ever get your bus pass on Sunday? Um, Rachel, we get one five years earlier, if I remember. I think I've had a bus pass for some time. You go on the bus and they, they zero it. John has never left my side. Being ill has made me realize that life is too short. There we go. Is it not just? But you guys are amazing. There we are. And John and I will talk more. Do you know? that I heard from a guy I worked with over 50 years ago for the first time in 50 years. And he remembered me as the cabin boy on the boats. Isn't that beautiful? To everyone enjoy every single moment because you never know when it might end. Absolutely, there we go. So there we are. And you guys are very much in love and you've got this little bundle of joy. How are we today? We are fabulous frats. Eli. Thank you for my beautiful gift. Guys, thank you for all your generosity on here, for your lovely gifts. Hi, Scotty, mind to tell them to keep your horn in your hapney. They need to keep their horn in their hapney. Seeing is believing, or believing without seeing. <laughs> there we are. Um, well, remember that the things that are seen are transient. The things that are unseen are eternal. How amazing is that? Hence the gill seat, as is still used today. Now, dear dog, tell us more. The gilla, gilla, gilla. Am I saying it properly? So we've got big love and fireballs from E19. Who would have been the strictest with her children, Victoria, Edward, or George? Victoria wasn't terribly strict with the children. I think she didn't have all that much to do with them. She loved and adored Albert. She was fond of her children, obviously. But, you know, she probably wouldn't have that much to do with them. Um, the strictest. Albert, I think, would probably be quite strict with the children, but he adored them. Um, Edward the Seventh, George the Fifth said he was very strict on... Edward VIII, on David, on um, Albert, Bertie, uh, King George VI, 
very strict on King Charles VI, a very sensitive man. You know, very tough, tough time. Had his hand tied behind his back to make him right with his right hand rather than his left, and it brought on a dreadful stutter, the poor man. And then he had splints put on his legs, metal splints, because he was a little bit knock-kneed. You know, lovely man, and uh, should never have had to smoke himself to death, really, which is what happened, you know, because he was quite nervous. Uh, but no wonder with that. But George V had said, my father was frightened of his father, who was frightened of his father, so my children are going to jolly well be frightened of me. And I don't think you should ever have your children absolutely frightened. Respect, yes, but never in fear of your parents. Scotty, I thought you only turned 21. You only look 21, Susie Babe. I have just turned 21. Uh, there we are. Can you bark, E, Whitty? What are you doing on a live of this caliber if that's the best you can come up with? My trees have got bark. You look marvellous today. I thank you very much. Can you try an American accent? Where would you like me to be from? Am I from the Bronx if I talk like this? <laughs> John told, told me he told you a few of his bad jokes. They're not bad jokes. They're dad jokes, especially now that we, Ella, has arrived. So there we are. They're dad jokes. I was standing at the railway station and I burst into tears. A policeman said, I can arrest you. I said, what for, for crying out loud? Police stopped me the other night. They said, could you blow into this, please? And I said, are you breathalyzing me? He said, no, my chips are too hot. <laughs> Hello from Lithuania. We love you, Lithuania. Dinky do. Hi. Hi again. Hi, everybody. Jokes, says Ravi. Yes, I threw away my old vacuum cleaner the other day. And I said, see ya, sucker. What are we talking about, e Whitty? We are talking about quality stuff. That's why Can You Bark is a piece of nonsense for TikTok's top talk show. So come on, raise your game, my dear. I'm 21 with some interest. Yes, uh, I'm 21 plus VAT. Scotty, play Killy Cranky on the squeeze box. Right, on, I don't know. I don't know the copyright situation for it. Scotty, can you hold these three horses while I count them? I see what you just did there. I love it. A guy walks into a bar and he goes, Ah! It was an iron bar. I see what you just did there. Thank you. Oh my goodness, has anybody seen the time? Five minutes to ten. Where do you live? I live on TikTok. <laughs> I'm in your phone. Scotty, what do you think about the NHS refusing me an operation? Because I haven't been vaccinated. Well, I think that's actually not right, Paddy, to be honest. Because perhaps you've chosen not to be vaccinated for medical reasons. You know, if you would have a very, very bad reaction or, or what, you know, that, that needs to be looked into. Nobody should be refused an operation. Uh, can you say hello to my friend Katie? Yes, I used to read what Katie did. Good morning from Australia. Good morning, good day, good day. And fair dinkum to Australia. Welcome to Scotty McLeary's TikTok Live, just for you. Uh, emotional blackmail, mate. Yes, that's what it is, P.K. Ball. Fantastic stuff. Now, um, has everybody followed me? If you haven't followed me, let's have a follow amnesty right now. I'll drink a cup of tea and I'll watch for everybody who hasn't followed to follow. But I won't be able to see who it is because I haven't got my glasses on. Okay, so here we go. Follow Amnesty starting in three, two, one. Get following. Have you all followed? More followers, please. 
They referred me back to the GP. I'd muddled with my GP, so there we are. Um, what do you call... Oh, no, no, Larry, girl, I can't tell you that. What I can say is, do you think Velcro is a rip-off? <laughs> a classic by Mr. Dress. Uh, dress up. I don't know what you're on about there, Moles. I'm sure that's whiskey and not tea, Lona. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. Lovely. How fantastic is that? That was gorgeous. Right, has everybody followed? Let's see. Come on then, more following. Scotty, have you ever seen the smallest band in the world? Is it an elastic band? Good day, mate. Good day, True Blue. <laughs> Sorry, it's me getting back to normal. Not a tall Larry girl. The jokes are fine. I just don't know in case, you know, somebody's watching uh, with the wings, that sort of stuff. Do you have any honorary degrees? I don't, Mose. Somebody told me I should have a doctorate, a doctorate for the university for all my work in radio and television and newspapers and broadcasting. But I'm actually not needing anything like that. I'm not too bothered. Yes, sir, I challenge you to a duel to the death. Yes, what, a diamond or a sapphire? Shall I write an essay to get you into the knighthood? <laughs> the knighthood. Why did you start broadcasting? Um, well, I, I was an actor, you see. And I thought, I need to um, get some pennies together because I want to buy a flat. So I thought, right, um, where, where can I get some pennies? So I thought, I'll get work at the local television station. So I went and auditioned and got work, you see. How did you come about TikTok? Well, what I saw, e witty, it was some young people said, you know, this is TikTok. So I looked at it. So I joined the channel, thought nothing of it. After about a year, I saw I had a 1,000 followers. So I thought I'll do a live. And I was watching the news one night on television. I thought, the people deserve better than this. This news is so depressing. So I thought, I'm now going to start doing a light-hearted, fun, interesting, joyful stream on a social media platform. I thought, I'll try this TikTok, but I don't know if anybody will watch 600,000 people have viewed the lives in the past six weeks. I want to get this channel verified. You know, um, we have, have had very, very few problems at the start when we did some dueling and things like that. Um, you know, it didn't seem to go down too well. But apart from that, once we got rid of the trolls, you know, that was it. Is there a Mrs. McClure's as Wavy? Don't be silly, Wavy. Who would have me? Uh, thank you for five beautiful red roses. Well done, says Geodog. I thank you, Geodog. You are a champ. So that's what we did. Because uh, I remember going to one of the television stations. Somebody said, you should apply for a job. I said, they're not going to take me. He said, they have seen 600 and they're not happy. What have you got to lose? So I went in for it, and what happened? Uh, I got the job. Mm. You bring a smile to my face anyway, mate. Much love for what you do, fellow. Keep morale high. Yes, indeed, indeed, keep morale high. What's the definition of agony? Uh, when you've just finished the milking and the cow kicks over the bucket, that's agony. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm watching your live now. So I sleep before live. So now I'm not tired. Like on Monday, Mr. Lithuania. So lovely to have you with us. Scotty, me and Josh are away to sleep. Good night, Scotty. Susie, babe, good night. Good night, Josh. Sleep well. Straight to sleep now, Josh. Because uh, Scotty McClue's just about to say dinky do to you and to everyone else. Maria sent me a finger heart. I thank you so much, Maria. That is beautiful. Oh, no, E19 has sent me a finger heart. Thank you, how are you, Scotty? 
what's the weirdest trend or phrase or term you've learned from TikTok? Uh, weirdest trend or phrase? Oh, learn from TikTok. Um, I don't think I've anything weird on TikTok. It's just, it is, I, I, I really am a big fan of the platform. Feeling sad not seeing you tomorrow. That's crazy. Don't worry. Uh, right, Scotty, I'm off to Fidela and then to nod off. Thank you once again. Larry Gal. we send you all the joy, all the love, and all the strength in the world. Sleep well and joyous, joyful awakening. You will be strong and well. Love to we Ella as well. There we are. And love to John, dinky do the engine man. Tell him I'll be after him for some more chat. Customs, thank you for that. Scotty, do you know Loretta School? Very, very well indeed. I was friendly with one of the head teachers some time ago. <clears throat> there we are. He was a neighbor of mine. <clears throat> Now then, I haven't uh, I haven't ever taught at Loretta School, but I used to stay in East Lothian and I shopped in Musselbra. <coughs> and I can remember when I was working for the theatre and the school came to a performance at the Brunton Theatre in Musselbra. What about that? There you are. And at that time, it was run by a lovely, lovely man who was one of Scotland's top accordionists. Yes, indeed. Do you remember that? Do you remember Big Jim? Have a think about that. In Boar music, the concertina features strongly. We also call it a Christmas worm. Ah, dear dog. This, of course, is not quite a concertina with a K, yes. This is a button key melodeon. <coughs> England v Germany. Fantastic. Have you ever been to North Wales? Oh, yes, Wavy. I remember going to Carnarfon one Saturday and to Conway. I loved all your castles and your ships and your boats. My younger cousin was named Prefect, head of Army, Navy and Tennis Team. Very proud of her. Absolutely, Mose. Very proud of her. Great school, by the way. Pinky House. PC Ventress. Hi. Edensfield, please. PC Ventress speaking. Oh, well, that's it. Aye. Oh, I see. Right, well, we'll have a right good looker for that. Thanks very much. Thank you now. <laughs> Do you have a favourite member of One Direction? Well, I used to be in a band called No Direction. <coughs> have you ever been to Norway? No way. No, but my father was one of your liberators in 1944. He was parachuted in with his red beret and his white snowsuit. Yes, indeed, to Norway. Um, so there we go. Come to Stornoway, to Stornovach. Ah, yes, indeed, and speak to the Yosaks and say to them, Kamrahau Mahas, how are we the night? There we go. Fantastic. Anyway, what I need to say to you in Stornoway right now, do you know the Nicholson? I'll say to you, I'll tell you a man I was friendly with was Dr. James Shaw Grant, who had been the editor of the Stornoway Gazette way back in the 1940s. Yes, how wonderful is that? Jim Grant, lovely, lovely man. Uh, there we are. <clears throat> we have our own stories in Canada. Indeed, Moes, I'd like to hear more of them. Right. A wee tune on the button key melodeon for you. What do you want? Um, what about this one? Uh... Thank you. 
How was that? Somebody said play a Gaelic tune. <laughs> for you to finish off the evening how amazing is that thank you so much for joining us it's been a wonderful wonderful live i hope you've enjoyed it take great care of your dear selves remember to stay fabulous uh, remember to love being you it's a beautiful thing to be and uh, i send you deep joy good night good morning if you're in australia yes indeed and um welcome good afternoon if you're in america same time if you're in South Africa, dear dog. There we are. Do you watch the water polo? I haven't for some time. Sleep tight, dinky do. Take care and good night. PC Ventus and his edge sandwiches. Fantastic. On you go, big Scotty. Get the accordion blasting. Give us some dollar wheels of us. Doing the swanny with no malelo. Nails no malelo and we'll dump them before we go to bed. Play a Gallic tune. Thank you very much. Very, very good of you. Good night and God bless everybody. Dinky do. And uh, we'll hopefully catch up tomorrow at some point. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky do to you. I'll uh, sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? <clears throat> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zen. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. Maria Knight, thank you so much for sending me my beautiful 10 good nights. Good night to you, my darling. Thank you for all your kindness and your generosity to every single one of you. Ta-ra, lads! <laughs>